Afghanistan has changed drastically over the past two years. And unfortunately, as we all know, it hasn't been for the good. Uh, before these two years, for the past 20 years after the Taliban's first time rule, uh, my people, we had all made sacrifices and we had made such great progress, such visible progress, where women were allowed to have an education, they were allowed to uh, go to work, and child marriages, child abuse, uh, domestic violence had decreased drastically as well. But unfortunately, with the return of the Taliban, it seems like we've we're back at stage one. We had worked so hard to move forward. And it seems like they're trying everything in their power to let us do anything but that. Uh, we we return into the dark ages. That's the best way I can describe it. And there's no other way that the cruelty in Afghanistan and the brutality right now can be described in words. Just because it's it's just indescribable is all I can say about it. Well, the conflict is essentially over and security has vastly improved. Um, ISIS is still present and has been attacking Shia minorities. They killed the Taliban governor in Mazar. Um, we have a new lower economic equilibrium. Um, and of course, Afghanistan's women and girls continue to face sharp rollbacks in their rights to education and work. Um, opium production has stopped. I was talking to someone in the past few months and what they told me was like, it's no more the Afghanistan that we recognize. Um, and they meant it in a way where we grew up watching, having access to everything, you know. Yes, it was bad. There were a lot of human rights abuses and everything. Um, but then at the same time, we had a constitution where you had the rights, even if they were not put in practice. And today's Afghanistan is somewhere where it's legal not to go to school. It's legal not to go to office for a woman, and it's legal to even ban walking to a park. So, yeah, that's the Afghanistan that you in, we're seeing right now. Well, in the last two years, Afghanistan since 2021 has been in the midst of a very serious hunger crisis and um, a lot of impact on uh, the country because of floods and natural disasters. And after the Taliban takeover, Afghanistan's GDP contracted 20.97%. That's the impact of what's happened to Afghanistan. According to UNDP 2023, the population is increasing in size by 2%. That combined with the average real per capita income of ordinary Afghans by the end of 2022 is estimated to have declined by 28% since 2020. Um, and these restrictions and bans on, on women's employment and presence in public life are making the situation much worse. And it's depri the depriving of girls from secondary school and universities is deeply limiting the prospect for economic recovery for generations to come. Um, that's the situation that I see so far in Afghanistan. Well, there has been a significant change, uh, changes um, in the last two years in Afghanistan. First, I believe that the, the Taliban takeover in August 2021 was a tragedy for the democ democratic world, a tragedy for Afghanistan, and tragedy for democracy in Afghanistan. So uh, but that by itself was a, um, was a, a, a negative um, uh, um, an, an event that happened in Afghanistan. Uh, in many other aspects, uh, um, why it was negative? Because uh, uh, there was a suppression of women rights. There was a suppression of freedom of speech. Um, large number of people left the country due to economic crisis, political instability, uh, fear of violence, and um, fear of being threatened, killed, detained. Uh, so um, that by itself brought a, a, a instability in the country. So. Uh, overall, uh, there has been it has been a a, a, a negative uh, um, uh, event in the in the in the in the history of Afghanistan. I think uh, from last two two years, and the, we don't we haven't seen much positive development happening uh, in 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 the social, political, and economic life of people uh, from last two years.